You know, Frank Gehry's work is so cool. All those wild shapes and strange angles, that guy's kind of going to the history book as one of the greatest architects ever. Hmm, I mean, I can see why you'd say that. His buildings are distinct, but in my opinion, he'll be forgotten by history. Huh? Well, I mean, his work's like bubble gum. You chew it for 20 minutes, and then you're bored with it. What? I wouldn't say that. Maybe his work might not excite you, but his buildings can be found all over the world. And, I mean, come on, they're unlike anything else. I mean, I hate to disagree, but to me, different doesn't mean good. Okay. Then what would you say about his engineering abilities? Can you say he's noteworthy for that? Okay, sure, I can see that. But then why doesn't he put those abilities to use in a more practical way? Like building bridges. Okay, okay, Mike, so you're the traditionalist. Okay, I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm not too crazy about his work either. But I think his, I don't know how to say it, resourcefulness is inspiring. I mean, mm -hmm. to use old building materials, chain link fence and plywood, it's so much better than throwing it away. So here's our environmentalist. Okay, well then what about you two? What are you? I mean, are you traditionalists, modernists, or what? I don't know, what are we? I don't know, I guess you can just call us Frank Gary enthusiasts. <laughs> Maybe you guys should start a fan club. <laughs> Maybe we will.